Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Hi cuties, it is Tuesday. No, it's Monday. Hi, well, welcome and welcome back to a brand new vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tolly. If you are a subscriber, hey darling, and welcome back home. It is a Monday, we're getting ready to go to an event. Are you ready to go to an event? <gasps> You're going to a brutal fruit event. You know. But I'm going to a brutal fruit event. I just got ready. I did my makeup, I did my hair. Time for drip check. Latawa has been going up and down, guys. <laughs> She's been going up and down, but yeah. I'm about to give you guys drip check. Record me. My thing is, I don't know which shoes to, like, must I wear pink? Black. No ways. No ways. Not a black motion, must it be a rock? Pink, you get. Pink, you get. Low nude, you get. Low, you get. It also look nice. If I eat this alcohol, I guess. Yeah, it is alcohol. It's like a bit of a nail. Late. Late. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that was gonna go. Yes. And then it's bad, though. It's bad, though. It's bad, though. It's bad, though. Pink, you get. So, let me show you guys. I'm wearing this dress, guys. Sorry, this case is a mess. Like, two people are getting ready, so you understand what's happening. I'm wearing this dress that I got from Opoly. I have not worn this dress in literally two years. That's how old this dress is. So, I'm wearing this dress. Like I said, it's a mess down here, so forgive me. I'm wearing this dress from Old Polly. It's how it says I should wear these shoes, which is absolutely correct because I was definitely going to wear them. I'm gonna wear these shoes. They are pink, pinkish, whatever, nude. And then I'm gonna carry this bag. I feel like it goes well with the outfit. I'm not gonna wear any jewelry because it's not gonna show. So I'm just gonna wear a chain and earrings, but this is the fit that we are. You guys are gonna see a picture, obviously, but that's what we're working with. Let me give you the dress is not too short, so it's working. So that is today's fit dolls. I'll be guys a like it. I'll be guys like my makeup. But yeah, let us go. To, oh, gotta tell has work to do before we leave, so we'll see you guys when we get there. We are at the fun company. They brought us to the fun company. No wonder they say we must wear flat shoes. Man, I'll tell you my quiet boy. I'm so sorry. I'm a I'm a nine man. The lighting here is a bit insane, but I managed. So we just arrived. Oh, I'm okay, we just arrived. The lighting is a bit it's red, but we'll deal with it. So we just arrived. That's how we're taking pictures. I'm gonna go take pictures now as well. And it looks so cute. Vama, we're gonna play a game. I might as well go change now, almost. Bring your shoes. I do, they're in the car. Oh, yeah, you must, you must bring them. So I just need the pictures yeah. first, then and I go, yeah. okay. Yeah. Because I, it's not gonna work. Man, when I bowling, la. Yeah. Go for a pass, and I'm quite quiet. Okay. Set up is cute. Very nice. All night. All night. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you me this cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe and Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual 
Baby, I wonder. Baby, I wonder. Put your, put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me.
I'm so happy, so honored, so, so grateful actually, you know, so grateful. But yeah, your girly is a little for darling. My, why I'm gonna excitement? Excitement. <laughs> Zali is part of the brittle fruit family. Woo! There we go. That's excitement. <laughs> ah, Zali is part of her. Welcome to Welcome Ngu. To Ngu. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, Litavo just made it a bit more exciting. I don't know. I was I was scared to say it. No, but yeah. So least parts of the brutal fruit family and, and 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 i didn't want to make notes because she's making tiktok so i was like okay let me be you know but yeah part of the brutal fruit family and i'm gonna need the darlings to go and run it up i'm gonna need y'all to go and sell them out i'm gonna need y'all to tag the girl if i've i've been doing all of these vlogs for you guys and if there's one thing that you can you can say thank you bye is buying a brutal fruit and tagging your fave. <laughs> That's all you need to do. That's all I'm asking. But the, um, the thing was great. I was a winner, obviously, when it came to the bowling because somebody lost. Nema. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be kind and let people win. I did that for you. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I'm gonna need the darlings to go and run it up. Your fave is a brutal food babe. And I'm gonna need you guys to do what has to be done. If you have always wanted to you guys have always oh what are we supposed to do to make it up to you because of the vlogs? Go buy brutal food. Support your fave. I've been giving you vlogs back to back to back. But anyway, um, it's 10 o'clock now. I'm going to remove my makeup. I thought I wanted to film one more video, but I'm tired. I want to sleep. I have work tomorrow. So, I'll see you tomorrow. You step out, get some in now, set so edge out, to some ice book, do be heavy in my mind, can you get the heck out? I mean grass now, got me bummed out, you so you so you baby, 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 I'm on my empty mind shit. I should have keep on choosing the best in me.
my damn jam. Good morning, South Africa. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning, my darlings. Good morning, my scatterballs. I woke up in such a great mood. I woke up in such an amazing mood, as per usual. Guys, I know it's been a week. I took out my ID when last, last week, Tuesday. Today makes it a full week. I am in a, I know it's been a week, like I said. I'm in a better place. And I realized that I was very emotional. Like, I was super, super, super emotional. I, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, my IUD made me the most emotional human being on the face of this planet. Let me just zoom in a bit. I was super emotional when I was on my IUD. Crazy business. And my skin is getting back to normal. I don't know, let me zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see. My skin is literally getting back to what this side is a bit ugh, because this one took a knock like it took a knock my hormones were out of this world from mississippi river crazy but we're going to fix this like i want to show you guys because you guys know you on my skincare journey with me you see like i had a very very bad and i mean bad breakout like this one is fine it was there i got i had a breakout here and then I got a bit of breakout there as well. You guys can see. These are my freckles, by the way. Like, if you didn't know, I have freckles. So I had a very, very... But this side is a bit fine. We're just going to now try to make sure that it gets better. But this girl, she was going through it. But, um... Anyway, like I said, it's only been a week. I'm in a good place, guys. I don't want to lie to you. I am in such a good space. That thing made me actually crazy. The IUD made me insane let's just start there but anyway what it is i wish i could hear you guys say it because you always 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 in the comment like i love it when you say what it is i wish you guys could say it with me what it is tuesday <laughs> it's tuesday today um we have lots and i mean a lot of work that we need to do i have to film for elizabeth arden i have to film for brutal fruits I, we have a lot of work that we need to do um what else oh yeah a darling sent me a dm by the way hello hi well, it's tiffany we're outside oh oh uh, no problem thank you tiffany oh, no problem cheers bye, bye. How pretty are these? Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh my goodness. These are so beautiful. Oh, these are so pretty. These are so pretty. Oh, these just made my week. I felt like it was rude if I didn't go. Guys, I've received bouquets. I've received bouquets in my life. But this one. This is so pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so this is from Lipton. Is it Lipton? Let's see. Oh, and they gave me this beautiful, beautiful box. Um, who's this from again? Oops. Hey, bestie. Roses just for you. Here's to celebrating the perfect mix of love, friendship, and fabulous treat treats this Valentine's Day. Hi, Chloe. This Valentine's Day, we're all about spreading the love and giving you your roses. Oh, we hope this day and the rest of 2024 continues to be filled with love and celebrating moments for you love the ro the rose team here's to you the perfect mix oh this is so nice it's the rose cordial they sent me roses watermelon flavored cordial oh sorry they delivered rada and this roses ginger infused ginger ale flavored drink oh this is so nice this is so nice this is so nice so nice so nice so nice 
This is so nice. This is so nice. Thank you so much. I'm gonna unbox it um, on the thing. On, um, yeah. You're so gorgeous. <gasps> you're gorgeous. No, you're gorgeous. No, they, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I'm gonna take a picture with them. Of course I am. I'm gonna wear a cute outfit and take a picture. I wanted to share with you guys um, one of our darlings. I hope I took a screenshot because Angis Bonla. Oli. Oh, there it is. Um, it's quite long. So she says, Hi, Auntie Darling. I hope all is well on your side. My name is Lelo and I would like to seek your advice on something. It just came to me that I'd love to be a prayerful and a spiritual being. Now my prom problem is consistency, especially when it comes to praying. I always say I'll start being consistent then one day I am, I am one day, wait. I always say I'll start being consistent. Then one day I am, the other days I'm lazy. Oh, sorry. Oh, punctuation. I haven't bought a candle to light when praying, but I'm just failing to be a consistent praying woman. May you please share your first time as a spiritual woman. How was it for you and what made you keep your promise to God? Thank you for your time reading this DM. And I'm sorry for the longest DM. You can share on the channel. I think maybe there might be many of us struggling with this. Guys, I think personally, prayer... Prayer is, I think people think when you pray, you have to be on your knees. Ah, Jesus. No, you really don't have to be that. I personally, I think I speak to God every hour of every day. Personally. Praying for me has become second nature. And the fact that I'm at a point in my life where I don't even have to sit. Like, I remember last, I think it was a month ago, I said I'm not going to set my alarm anymore because I know it's going to... Oh, snap cheesy, relax. I I used to have an alarm for 3 a.m. for me to wake up and pray. I don't I don't have that alarm anymore because Okay. I don't have that alarm anymore because I wake up at 3 a.m. every day without fail. Every single day at 3 a.m. I will be up. So I'm at a point where prayer is second nature to an extent where I don't need alarms. I don't need reminders. I just pray. So also, I feel like, I don't know if this is going to make sense to the next person. Guys, God has to literally touch you and you also have to want him badly for it to get to an extent where consistency is nothing to you. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want to say I, you have to get to a place where you need him in a sense of something bad happens that you change your life and prayer becomes a consistent thing in your life i don't want to i don't want to say it like that because it looks like we only want god when we need him no but for me it got to a point where the only time that i needed god last year was when i was going through that horrible breakup and i needed him then to save me from the heartbreak to an extent where i was praying every day of every hour of every minute just so i can get better i think that led me to where i am now that prayer is just second nature even if sometimes you don't feel like praying not even feel like praying if you can't pray just like me guys i don't pray at church whenever i go to church i can't pray because there's a lot of people praying i can't i can't think when this this one is praying this one is praying instead i my mind will listen to what the next person is saying that's why when people are praying at church i close my ears and i just maybe i i hum or i say thank you jesus thank you jesus thank until they're done praying i can't pray at church i can't pray where there's a lot of people praying i can't my mind can't function i'm gonna listen to what they say so whenever people are praying in church this is me thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank i can't hear it because if i don't close my ears i won't be able to pray for me church is just pray worship listen to the word and i'm out by praying at church i can't pray at church I can't. I need to be by myself. I need it to be quiet. I need to hear what I'm saying. I need to be with my own thoughts. You get me? So we are all different. I always used to be so hard on myself, guys, to be like, yo, can God even hear me? Yo, can God, is God even listening? Yo, I didn't pray today at church. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, one keeper people will lay away. Blood of her. Bone keeper in the book of life. I condemn myself so much. I think me reading the Bible has helped me to understand that no matter what I do. And I'm saying this in the sense of somebody that, that doesn't kill, somebody that doesn't... Sana, Ten Commandments, I'm going to You know, 
so i feel like no matter what i do god loves me and the bible continuously continuously tells us that even today my devotional let me share it with you guys my devotional said i have a 365 daily devotional i do my devotional every day i'm currently on track you see today is the today is the 13th of of February so that's day 14 I'm currently on track day 14 of 365 I started this devotional in February so today's devotional said what is God saying about you in today's scripture I love the fact that God was bragging on Job if you could hear what God is saying about you you'd be amazed we think God is focused on our faults and shortcomings but but God sees the good things in you he sees your heart to help others he sees your sincerity your kindness your courage I can hear him telling the angels have you seen my son Jim he's really amazing have you seen Rachel there's no one like her God is proud of you he made you in his own image he calls you a masterpiece remember that just because you're having difficulty as Job did doesn't mean you've done something wrong Job was the most righteous man of his day we all go we all go through tests seasons we don't understand dark seasons are not permanent god is for you and he will bring you through if you stay in faith he will bring you out of promote he will bring you out promoted increased and at a new level of your destiny i was also going through tiktok and this lady was like um she was celebrating a year of not masturbating because she found god so when you find god guys you, you can't just leave it no it doesn't work like that if you it doesn't work like that it's like a drug addict you don't just wake up one morning like okay yes you wake up one morning like i'm done yes but the craving will come back you are an addict you know so i you must take it easy but also like i said you god needs needs to locate you somehow but i also don't want it to get to an extent where something happens before you can actually find god and decide to be consistent you have to take the initiative to be consistent even on days you don't feel like praying you have to be like i am going to pray no matter what especially the days you don't feel like praying that's the days that you should be praying the most because you are fighting with something the devil you are fighting with the devil you know so consistency in prayer my doll, I, like I said, I don't know how to explain it to you, but I don't want it to get to an extent where you are praying because something is happening. I want you to pray even when nothing is happening, you know? So for me, it came so easy. And also when you find the joy in being in the Lord's presence makes so much sense. It's so nice to be here. Oh, Sanagum Nanduwala, it's, it's nice to be here, you know? So also when you don't feel like praying, play a gospel song. The fact that you are you are praising God in in other means instead of just praying also means something, you know. So make it a habit. Actually, make it a habit. The same habit you have of going to the gym is the same habit you have that you should wake up in the morning and read your Bible. I read my Bible every day of my life. Every single day of my life. I don't have a time where I read the Bible because I feel like when you time yourself, that's when you're going to feel bad about it because there's some days you're going to wake up at nine o'clock and you have to read your Bible at half past eight. Now you didn't read your Bible. You're condemning yourself. Oh, my. I, 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 I judge and condemn myself so much guys. Like that's why I even removed the, 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 the clock from my Bible because say maybe I, I, my, my clock is set to nine. I sleep until half past 11. I'm going to wake up and be like, ah, oh, God hates me now. I was supposed to read my Bible. At I, I, the thing is, I take God as someone who's there with me every day. If I'm going to read my Bible at 9, I, I take a chair and I put it in front of me and I feel like God is there with me at 9. So now, if I don't read my Bible at 9 o'clock and God was there sitting, waiting for me and I'm sleeping, and then he's like, we have a... So I, I used to condemn myself so much. Yo I, used to, yo, I used to judge myself so much until I was reading the Bible and it constantly reminded me that God loves me no matter what. God loves me if I don't read my Bible at 9 o'clock and I read my Bible at 10. He still loves me. No matter what. No matter where I am. He still loves me. You know? So, and also, I've, I've decided to stop taking in so much from different avenues. Because I feel like that that is another thing that makes me feel like, mm -mm, I'm doing something wrong. You know, because I was following a lot of all of a lot of Christian um, pages, a lot of not all, guys. And one thing that I always say is pray for pray for a discerning spirit. There's a lot of these Christian pages that will tell you 
Guti, yeah, sex before marriage is, is wrong, yes. And then they also tell you that, but then what if you get to the marriage and then the partner, the sex is not as great. And then, yeah, Guti, you know, I decided that I'm going to do what I feel is best, but also seeking guidance from God and my mother, because you guys know my mother's a pastor. So if I don't understand something, I'll go to her because I just feel like the, 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 the information is personal because it's from somebody that I know. I think this is why my subscribers or my darlings are so intrigued rather by my journey with God because it's rather, it feels personal to them because it's somebody that they know and that person being me. We've, we've, we've been together for the past three years on YouTube. So you guys, we have a relationship. So when it comes from me, you kind of sort of feel like I kind of sort of know what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So the consistency has to come from you. You have to yearn for a relationship with God. You have to want a relationship with God. You have to want to pray. And also my thing is prayer becomes a habit when you can see what prayer is doing for you. And not the physical things, not the not the things that you want that are tangible. No. When prayer comes and fills your spirit, when prayer comes and changes your mindset, when prayer comes and gives you peace, that's when you will pray even more because it feels nicer than the things that are tangible. You know when you're going to be praying, oh God, I'm praying for a car. Modimo, Father God, I'm praying for a car. Yes, and then you see your car. That's great. But when you pray for things that are not tangible and you see them actually come to pass that's when you're going to pray even more because i just feel like the things that are not tangible mean so much more that's just how i feel because like i said to you guys i prayed for peace so that nothing shakes me now oh whenever i feel like something's coming i just said be still relax be still and know that i am her you know so there's nothing more that I'd love for anybody in this world ten, than to to experience God, to experience Jesus, to experience... Yo, guys, it's so nice. It's, it's, it's incredible. I love it here. And there are slip-ups. There really are slip-ups. Like I said, this lady that was gave her life to God and she stopped masturbating. Guys, it's hard. Oh, it's hard. It's hard not having something that you used to have it used to be at your reach it used to be it's hard not having intimacy with anybody when it used to be at your reach it used to be something that you should just do it now and now you completely stop doing it it is hard imagine what i've been going through for the past six months oh my god <sighs> but it's for the better good for me for my mental health for my for my health in general for for me to get closer to god that's right guys i don't care i feel like sex is just the biggest sin oh i feel sex is the villain villain oh my god i just can't so but things happen they haven't happened yet but things happen <laughs> so yeah that's just how i see consistency you just have to want it you just have to want to be in god's presence you just have to want to be with god in order for you to get to a point where prayer is second nature you know people think like i said people think praying is making noise no you can even stitch and be like God, so yesterday, no? I went to the Brutal Fruit event and there was things that were happening, things that people were doing that I didn't like. And I'm not saying this, I'm just making an example of me trying to tell God something. So after that, I was like, uh-uh, why are these people doing this thing? You're just having a conversation. It's a dialogue with God. It's just the dialogue, Sana. You know? So... That's just... Sammy's calling me and I'm just like, Show me. What's up? Okay, I'll call Sam. I'll call me Sam. But yeah, guys, that's just it. Um, I have work to do today, like I said. Show me. What's up? I wanted to see you. You wanna see me? Why do you want to see me? Sorry, these days I'm a wiki. 
Yes, I let them in the same. I forgot what I was talking about. Yes. I'd like to talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. That's too loud. Do it nicely. <laughs> but yeah. I hope, I hope, I hope you have heard me. Um, Sammy's coming over. She needs to film something. I have to film something. So she's going to help me shoot. <sighs> Guys, go busy. It's very busy. And I also have to shoot some things for my Yaga store. I have to send out things for my Yaga store as well. Um, it's a busy day today. Tomorrow, yo, tomorrow we are leaving. Um, I'm going to be in Hartis for 24 hours with the table. We were asked to come by a, a traveling it's not a traveling agency. It's a Hartis based traveling agency. Is it? Where they make excursions for you, they book things for you, they book all of so they were like, please come, we're gonna go zip lining, we're gonna This week is just busy for me. I think I'm only gonna take a break on tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Valentine's. At least I've got my flowers. So tomorrow's Valentine's, we're gonna go Wednesday, Thursday um friday i have an appointment to talk yeah friday saturday i'm chilling sunday it's church so let us go and check some clothes for for my yaga store hi right, guys it's the next day please don't be mad uh yesterday you remember sammy came sammy came over <laughs> Because I had to help her um, shoot content, right? So Sammy came over, we chilled. They tell me why we we shot content, smoked heavily, and then passed out on the couch. I burnt myself. Happily, if I catch you. Like, I burnt myself. Yo, guys, I'm so annoyed. Like, I burnt myself. I'm going to say it's a birthmark if someone sees me. <laughs> but, um... So I couldn't also electricity left. It had been more four. Yeah, we are six. And then it left again at eight. I was just like, I was so defeated. Or like why did it go two times? But anyway, um I'm I'm ready. We are leaving today. I'll do the the what are, what are, what was I supposed to do yesterday? I was supposed to what's the word? I was supposed to show you guys the clothes that are gonna go on on Yaga in case like you wanna see it and see what will be up on the store also some people were like they want to see me actually wear it then you know so i'm gonna do that on the next vlog i definitely will do it on the next vlog because i was editing the vlog yesterday already there's like a lot of footage so i'm gonna do that on the next vlog um so today we're gonna go to artists we have like a jam-packed day it is half past is it, is it eight it's half past eight it's 8 25 yo this phone of mine where's my other phone Guys, I have attachment issues. Like, I can't let this phone go. <laughs> I can't let this phone go. This phone has held me down. So, um, where's my other phone? Because it's half past eight. Um, I actually have to, to thing in the table. Because we're going together. Oh, there she is. Um, it's half past eight. Yeah, it's 8.25. And then, um, I have to text them now to ask what she's doing. So we're going to Artis. Um, we have a very very long jam packed day. You guys are gonna see. We're gonna do. I'll put my itinerary right here. We're gonna do so much, and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, let me call the table because I'm finished packing, and then I have to pack the habli. The same habli that burnt me. I have to pack it down. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys when the table gets here. I just arrived. Yo, hello. Hi, how was the Boring. So long. So long. Not long. No, it was. Boring. It was it was too long for my liking. Okay. Hi doll, how are you? It's good. I'm good, good thank Hi. you. Hi, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Bo. Why are you laughing? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Oh, 
Let them, let me drive my old, my old, my old wash. Let me drive the boat. You drive and give me boat. This is nice. He pulled it on my Yeah, it's just a splash. Actually, pull it. This is so nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, his number one. And also got the nice view. The view's actually better from up here. The view's always better at the top. Yeah, always. always. Oh, okay. Nice. Then, but I don't know if I'm going to put my crocodile. Why up round? This is the first room. Yes, she's there. Mm. And this is the second room. This is, it's the knickknacks for me. I am screaming. <laughs> we just arrived. We just arrived. We just arrived in the house. Uh, I think we're gonna go do our first activity. Guys, this is so. Cool. Is this a speaker? Uh, what? It's the couch. <laughs> uh, no, it's what is it It's you buying knickknacks for me. I'm literally screaming. Like, I identify yourself. I should show them a banana. Why am I going to take my banana? Why am I going to take my banana? I'm going to take my banana. I'm going to take my banana. Now, now so, you say. Explore Happies is a mm. travel agency. We offer accommodation, transport, specialized itineraries, packages, everything. Mm. So you just come, you tell us, I want to come with a friend or a group of friends or my family, whatever, or company, team building. We plan well, everything team building. for you mm. for the whole day. Mm -hmm. You just arrive to this house. You just arrive. Exactly. We have hotels as mm. well, and then we take care of everything. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just put everything on the display for description box for the uh -huh. house and everything. Thank you for Thank having you. me, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm going hiking. I'd say hiking. Oh, it's a it's a walk. <laughs> See, I go hike. I say you go hike. I say it. I mean, come I mean, come on. <laughs> and then Hello guys, security. <laughs> I don't walk. I can't believe I'm doing things that I don't do. And I'm wearing sneak. I am actually on a walk. I'm gonna flag this unscreen. In the English I own. Damn. But we are in the. Can I say I'm in the wilderness? Hmm? Yeah. Can, okay, Everything we're in. You can say you are. We're in the. You say my satin. <laughs> and he said beautiful. What? B ugly roads lead to beautiful places. Places. The truth. So we are walking. I'm even going to watch the spy kids. I'm even going in the 10,000 steps. Man, I'm going to watch my spy kids. You tell me I'm going to watch the spy kids. I'm a semi friend. You show my steps, go to and like hiking snin kunin sidla sinani thapha so tsoku dla sinini mese udla sinilambi lang kunin kilamba la insabeni ngihlangana nabo feleba segmele ngidle ma ma ngisingaba lost la baba ngathi sisakho hapo for 3 hours la baba so be suthi sinla baba lambathi nesiphetha ukudla think ahead yabo sine sicaba ngela ahead litha uphetha emanto okumane mina ngiphetha emalezi nina ngikaphatha ilutha Mandy, Bogtolu, Phil. 
It's like this Sunday. Oh my God. Nini's <laughs> hamba. Yes. In the young one, I swung Yola. Like Janine. Says Genagula. Can you even hear the water? Can you guys hear that? Oh wow. This is so pretty. Oh my word. Can know what mountain is this? It's the Mahali's mountain. Oh, this is the Mahali's mountain. Oh my word. Zunzula Lana was just a son and a team Zunzu setting her thing bitter of him and him. This is so It's waterfall. Oh, it's falling down. How are you? Hi. Hi. You made it on time, but you wanted it on the time. I know. Why are you putting my bus not close to me? No. Eh, then come here. Come here. So I need to. Why not? I'm a girl. You can lodge it now or no, there, somewhere. You know where yeah, it's an open field. Yeah. 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 Open field. Fine. Let's go. Let's get to it. Can you not hear me? But then you put. Ha! Finally, it's been a while. It has to be tied. I'll make it less. Um, no, I'm just asking. It's fine. Uh, is it fine? Mm -hmm. okay. Are you sure it's not too tight? No, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> when we're riding, can you? Oh, of course they get it. Yes, Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Awesome, awesome. All right. My name is Philip. Hi, I'm Philip. going to be your guide for the next one hour. About these horses, they are easy horses. They do this. Hi, doll. How are you? How are you? Where's mine? She's coming. I feel, <laughs> I feel like guys, I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like I'm so heavy. Shame, don't ban. Yo, ah, ah, na mi nengfu na Why is mine so marshmallow? Ang sinzi, ngege. I feel sad riding a horse because. Yeah, na inshagel, baby girl. Oh my god, I'm never doing this again. She's twitching. Lea Twitch! I'm not sitting comfortably. Can I move? <laughs> Relax. Relax. The Brazilian lang e move. I'm not too much. I'm not trying to. Mkichimis, lambis. But if I'm not trying to say anything, I'm not going to take it. Yeah. So humble now. Don't be scared. No, we are cooked. Cause I'm not seeing sign. Nick, let's pull the camel. Hey, let's have another match. She's trying to romance. Run in the sunset. Huh? See, I got right. <laughs> Wash. <laughs> today left, today, today left, today left. <laughs> today left, today left. Hi. I mean. It's an antelope. Exactly. Mm. She's hiding. Hi, sweetie. Where? Did you come back, man? Some funny lion, yeah. We saw one, but it hid. Springbok, can't say Springbok me. Yes, Alex. Hmm. Can look at baby and know what your parents are saying. Hello, family. Yes, go. Yes! It's stopping. What's happening? What's in your head? Ah, young Lima, that's a 40 inch. That's a 40 inch. Is that a man's beating? What's going to happen? No, 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 no. If you're beating, you... Okay, let me see the video. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Danny, what must happen? Yeah, I want to take one. Way. Okay, what happens if you beat him? Hmm? Danny, you said I must beat I him. Mean, if you beat him, yes, that's the problem. You he will run. Kick. You must kick, not okay, to beat. Okay, he doesn't want to go. Beat, Please pull him. Run. Maybe he'll, he'll, he'll walk. Go. Uh, let me just try. I got food. <laughs> it doesn't want to come fetch us. Yeah, oh. Get your man better than none. Ah, so I enjoy. Can I get one? Woo! Ah, sir. Oh, my God. I just took off my wig. Me back from the mini boat cruise. It's time to go zip lining. I'm so excited, but also I'm annoyed that I have makeup on, but I had to work, so. Let's go, stop lighting. We just arrived at Ngopila. I'm a zwing zwing. The zip line is not that long. It's not that hot. scary. Most. There's four. There's Where's four this zip lines. This is like the starter. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good day, beautiful ladies.
Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, how are you? Sorry. Good, thanks, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, so welcome to Amazon's Music Land. Thank you. And I'm here with Martin. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, Martin. And, uh, we're going to go with you on the tour from the Central Resource the last month. Mm -hmm. There's any problems in terms of arm um, or back problem? Back problems? Mm -hmm. Are you asking if we have them? If you. I don't. No, now put my bread <laughs> problem so say slow. I sometimes do though. It's gonna take us from the first tower until the last one. We're also gonna ask you to put on this photo glove and not do any head for break. But we're gonna show you how it looks on the first platform before we start everything. This protection, this helmet. <laughs> on the side. Oh, she's. I've never seen people look so nice. For some time. Check. Check. Record me. I'm wearing this harness thing for safety purposes. It's so heavy. From Amazon's ring. ring. Am I supposed to wear gloves now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's it's light and red, but if you are ready, you can wear them. Oh, wear them then. You wanna need some pictures before you go, or you are good. View from the top. Where from here? Yeah. Um yeah, is this nicer here or there? Why is it so I just got home. We are mighty exhausted. I'm finished. I am finished. But I'm back home. That's how I just lived. What an amazing 24 hours. Love it there. Um, on Wednesday, you guys didn't see us go. We didn't even go because there was a power outage. But I didn't want to put that part up. But I was like, you guys are going to be like, hmm, what happened? Why didn't you go to dinner? So I didn't go to dinner because there was a power outage. So we just got lazy and we just chilled in the house, ordered KFC. And then the next day, which was today, um... We just did the boat cruise quest because we had work for Brutal Fruits and then we went to the zipline. <gasps> zipline. Guys, this year, I'm doing everything. The only thing that I'm not going to do is a hot air balloon. I can't do that one. But let me not say I can't or I won't. Maybe I might. You know, because this year is all about adventure. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog. And don't forget to follow Explore Hatties. Nageri was such an amazing host. She was so hands-on. Love her so much. I'm going to leave her number right here. And also, I'm going to leave her Instagram in the description box in case you want to book through her. Because she books everything from accommodation to the restaurants to the activities. The only thing that you have to do is just get yourself there. That's all you have to do. Boat cruise, it's her. Everything is just her. She's absolutely perfect. Thank you once again to her for this exciting and amazing trip. But I'm about to pass out. It's Thursday. To, it's what's today? What are they? I'm just, what's today? 15th. Today's the 15th. But what day is it? I don't know. But yeah. It, no, today's Thursday actually. Yeah. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to wash my face actually. Order food and pass out. I'm done. Guys, yo, Uncan Bugani Langi Shekona. Oh my word. I, I, it somewhat looks like a Transformers stamp. You'll transform a velamin. Slanging is on in Jerusalem, her. 
it'll transform oh, it looks like a transformer step but optimal prime but for the little stem blades if you are a transformer so now me i'm a transformer now i'm joking but um bye cuties i'll see you on the next vlog